Welcome, my brothers and sisters of the Caleb Clan. My name is Caleb, aka Clone Clocks 9999. And you guys know Clone City in Minecraft, right? Well, I bet some of you guys are probably wondering who are the people. Well, this video will show you everybody. Uh, but keep in mind that everybody in Clone City I actually did not create. Um, I figured I'd just have people from, you know, other YouTube channels living in the city and all that. Um, so yeah. But this right here is pretty prehistoric people so this is Steve and he and and this of he of course is a player he's from Minecraft so basically what this thing right here will do this is just, this is this is the person's name what speech what race they are and where they come from he's clone city's hero he was the hero of the city from protecting from mod mobs thousands of years ago he was an almighty warrior who never gave up. He was the one and only who was able to slay the Kraken for more spawn. Some people believe he's still alive today, but nobody has any idea where he might be. Alex, player from Minecraft. She is Clone City's beautiful ancient hero. She never and she never gave up on anything. She worked for Steve and helped him and protect the city from modded mobs. She went missing before the Kraken attack, and Steve did it all himself. One of Clone City's basic, biggest mysteries is this. What happened to Alex? We may never know. By the way, if you're wondering the recorder I'm using, it's actually my sister's phone. Uh, she said it was fine. Now, let's go on to the today's people for modern Clone City. Mayor Clone. Player. From my channel, of course. <laughs> That's This is me. Clone Clocks is the mayor of, of the Clone City. If there's any kind of emergency, he'll probably be there... Here with Wolf on Akala in record time. Some people wonder, how can one player spawn and build so many things so quickly? Clone says, cooties, which basically means cooperation, teamwork, and open spaces. In his spare time, Clone enjoys board games, card games, video games, pl playing with his pets, hanging out with the other residents, and chewing gum. Many say Clone's the funnest mayor they've ever seen. He says, you wouldn't believe all the other boring mayors I've seen. Yeah. Now, Vice Mayor Wolfo, dog, from my channel. Wolfo clocks his clone's crazy canine. He created all the wi words of wisdom in the town has. In his spare time, Wolfo enjoys eating raw mutton, cooked mutton, and rotten flesh, munching on random bones he finds in forests and other places, running around with Aqua, and hanging out with Soldier. One, one words of wisdom he is, Advice is something the cooked meat doesn't need and the raw meat refuses to take. <laughs> This guy. Assistant Mayor Akalot. Cat. From my channel. Akalot Clock is Clone's fabulous feline. In her spare time, she enjoys running around with Wolvo, eating pufferfish and clownfish, and licking her fur on a daily basis. She doesn't really have any special capabilities from Clone, other than patrolling the house for creepers. She also, so she hangs out at Adam's home with Shanks. Although, she may have better feelings for him. Mush, Mushroom, from my channel. Mush clocks is clone's marvelous mushroom mutant, his best source for milk and mushroom stew. Eggplant, chicken, from my channel. Eggplant clocks is clone's good ol' angry bird, his best source of eggs. Fluffy sheep, it's like the smallest picture in the world. Fluffy, from my, cl <laughs> from my channel. Fluffy Clocks is Clone's Rainbow Sheepy Sheep, his best source for wool, and she's also a different color, color depending on what world type she's in. Porky Pig, from my channel. Porky Clocks is, is Clone's Pretty Pink Pork Pal, his transportation source. He thinks Pig is more fun than a, than a horse. Now, now we're going to go into stuff that has nothing to do with the mayor's house. Ewafs, Player. From Clone Clocks and then from my channel. Mayor Clone's best friend. She loves video games, anime, creepypastas, and doodling. She feels special but er, <laughs> she feels special because she's involved in Clone Comics Inc. Uh yeah, she's actually there too. She also has a power where she can turn into an Ender Woman and back into a player. Warning, if she's an Ender Woman, don't look her in the eye. Otherwise she'll go totally nuts. Zack. Player from Zack Scott Games. Sorry for, sorry for the pictures and all. I kind of forced to put it in portrait. 
I don't know. Zach currently does not have a job, but is working towards getting one. For now, he just lives in the Ascidian house in a residential zone. He enjoys video games such as Angry Birds, Plants of Zombies, this title has been removed, etc. He's also a very curious man and loves checking out new stuff. Ashley, player, from Zack Scott game. Yeah, some of them don't have descriptions, that's because, uh, some ear, it's because, that's probably because I don't know too much about him, but it's mainly just the YouTubers that are in the city. Adam, player, from Swimming Bird 941 Adam is a good chef and has an animal-loving heart. Swimming Berg was also named after him. Zach, right. Mac, left. Both cats, from Swimming Bird 941. Adam's Tiger Tom and Mushroom Queen. Shanks, cat, Swimming Bird 941. Oh, I should probably point out, Zach and Mac were uh, from Adam's uh, Hardcore Safari Sur uh, Survival Sur Sur Series. Shanks was from his Hardcore Adventure Challenge. Adam Sleek and Spotted Itty Bitty Kitty. Just be careful if you want to pet him. It, you never know he's going to nuzzle or bite. Zack has the experience, and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> Waddle, Chicken, from Swimming Bird 941. He also comes from Adam's Hardcore Adventure Challenge. Adam's Funny Feathery Fowl, his best source for eggs. Clarence, Cow, from Swimming Bird 941, who is also from his Hardcore Adventure Challenge. Adam's Big Beautiful Bovine Bay, <laughs> his best source for milk. Gosh, I cannot talk today. Pumpernickel, Horse, from Swimming Bird 941, and she, er, he was also from uh, uh, his Hardcore Adventure Challenge. Adam's Best Source for Transportation, Humphrey, Donkey, it's from Swimming Bird 941. Adam's best source for desert exploration. Now, I think he's from, like, this, uh, desert thing from, like, the pyramids that Adam did. I don't really know, but, yeah. Jeremiah, Spider, from Swimming Bird 941. He also comes from, a uh, Hardcore Adventure Challenge. Adam's best friend. Dan, player, from the Diamond Minecart. He's the best friend of Dr. Trioris and is a very smart assistant scientist. Grim, Skeleton Dog. From the Diamond Minecart. Dam's favorite bone boy. Craig, player, from the Diamond Minecart. Yeah, male creep sidekick in Postal Service. Pat and Jen. Pat, left. I mean, excuse me. Pat, right. Jen, r left. Players, from popular MMOs and gaming with Jen. They enjoy using mods such as Mutant Creatures and Lucky Blocks. Pat is also in charge of what mods are installed so bosses like the King or Mobzilla don't destroy the whole city in one stop. Poor, poor Spider will be so busy. Jen is also Bob's sister, and they are complete opposites. Literally. Um. Yeah. Bommy. Charge Baby Creeper, even though the image doesn't show him charged. Pat, Pat and Jen's best friend. He loves TNT, and his favorite food is gunpowder. He may be small, but he packs a punch. Kylie Jenner, generic villager, from popular memos. People call her the bad trade woman. She's the helpful gal who lives in a tree of epic proportions. Here are her trades. $30 for a stick, for one stick, $45 for three sticks, $90 for five stick, uh, $50 for a lucky, for a super lucky block, plus $100, $100 for an enchantment table, and $100 for an enchanted golden apple spawn egg. By the way, we must have horse spawn, so... Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, why Pat didn't... Pat didn't install... Nobody in, uninstalled the or spawn mod back when Steve existed. That's because they... That's because nobody found a way to uninstall the mod. The Milkman, Butcher Villager, from Popular MMOs. Bitten by a cave spider? Slashed by a wither skeleton? Gonna fight the wither? Might want to see this guy. He lives in the Tree of Epic Proportions. $25. Milk. Chuck, Priest Villager, from Popular MMOs. People call him the Strange Item Collector. He, this guy is like a villager ATM machine. Need money? Mm. He lives in the Tree of Equal Proportions. Give him strange items. This guy is rich. Sponge, $180, which he uses for his home shower. End Portal Frame, $20. And his son is an Ender Brawler, which basically means he goes to the end and fights Enderman. A saddle. Hundred dollars. His his wife owns a horse. 
Cake, $180. He's got a serious sweet tooth. Ted, Blacksmith Villager, from Popular MMOs. This guy is the combat expert. Here are his amazing trades. So, a billion dollars for G Sword, which we must have the Godzilla mod installed, by the way. A million dollars for a Royal Guardian Sword. Must have Orisbaugh installed. Uh, $10,000 for Big Bertha. Must have Orisbaugh installed. $500. G Hat. Must have the Godzilla mod installed. $800. G Shirt. Must have the Godzilla mod installed. $700. G Pants. Must have the Godzilla mod installed. $400. G Shoes. Must have the Godzilla mod installed. Noobly Player. From the Noob Adventures. He's into gold swords and gold armor. He found Boner after he re-killed the Wither. He's also the drummer in Obsidian Prison. Snake Player from the Noob Adventures. An expert pixel art builder, but he's always unlocking against leather armor. He's also the lead guitarist in Obsidian Prison. Fart Garfunkel Player from the Noob Adventures. Fart has a lot of personality and makes all kinds of hilarious jokes. Need to build a house? He's got some corn on the cobblestone. He once had an encounter with parental block and sur and survived by holding a book on brewing. He's also the lead singer of Obsidian Prison. Boner, horse, from the Noob Adventures. Boner is Noobly's horse. He actually used to belong a guy to a guy who was killed by parental block. <laughs> Milky Dad, player, from the Noob Adventures. He doesn't really like villagers or witches. That's why he never vi never visits Dire Worlds or Swimming Bird. Which, by the way, he had an issue with Ugolina back in the day, and it wasn't a pretty scene. He loves the smell of glowstone and the taste of mushrooms. His most loved possession is Irene, his enchanted iron blade. He's also the bass guitarist in Obsidian Prison. Slam a cow player from Slam a cow. He, get, he gets confused a lot, and half the time he doesn't even know what the heck he's doing. Wondering what A stands for? His middle name is just the letter A. He's basically telling you to go to a farm and slam a cow. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help putting that in there. Bart Enderman from Slam a Cow, and he has like the longest picture in the entire note. A very intelligent Ender Wonder. Sadly, he's not the easiest in the world to explain. <laughs> yeah. Dave Zombie from Slam a Cow. He's always got his nose buried in his super zombie video game, but he's good to have around. He's always got his pockets flooded with food. Sky, player, from Sky Does Minecraft. He's the richest person in the town and loves gold, or butter, if you insist, and hates squids. Sunday, player, from Sunday. Sunday likes mods, but isn't as crazy about him as Pat and Jen are. <laughs> Actually, I don't really know too much about, um... Sunday, I think somebody told me he was married to a girlfriend from the War Spawn mod, whose name is Gertrude. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Stampy, player, from Stampy Longhead. Stampy is a handsome player cat mutant. He loves cakes. Squid, player, from Iabolistic Squid. A player squid mutant. Also the strangest looking person in the city. I mean, look at that mouth. He's, Stamp he's Stampy's best friend and Sky's arch rival. He's he his invincible iron pickaxe with Unbreaking Three is all unbreakable. It was given to Squid by his great grandpa and has been used many times ever since was Squid was four years old, and he just keeps repairing it. Or player from Or Pros. Picture diamonds and dirt switching places. Or is always creating fiction events of Minecraft such as what if villagers hated emeralds. What if Hero Brian and Hero Brian got removed once and for all? What if Dirt and Bedrock switch places? What if Bedrock was removed? Leave a comment in my mail chest, Or says, and you can be responsible for the next fiction event. Or makes over $3,000 out of those tales. He also has a stash of dead bushes. Nobody knows why.